today's outcrop of the day is this rather unimpressive looking pile of rubble. I'm in central Kazakhstan again and I've just started mapping this prospect today. There's a nice big hill up there with lots of massive silica and alunite, so I know I'm in a high sulfidation epithermal system. As usual in those systems there's lots of smoke and it's pretty difficult to find the fire. But one of my golden rules of exploration is go for the knobbly rocks and this rock is certainly knobbly. And if I break a piece off you can see why. So if I put a bit of water on there you can see it's a beautiful hydrothermal breccia. There's a fragment of altered volcanics there and another fragment there that's probably a piece of altered sandstone and the matrix is a mixture of quartz and gossamer to pyrite and clay. The clay is a pearly white colour that's probably dickite. So here's another piece here with some very strong silica alteration. You can see that classic vuggy silica texture there where feldspar grains have been dissolved out to leave cavities. And there's some bigger holes here which are after fragments that have been dissolved out. And all of those cavities are filled with gossan after sulphide. And that's what the ore looks like in most high sulfidation systems. This really is the good stuff. As usual in high sulfidation epithermal systems, the ore is always in hydrothermal breaches that sit in the feeder zones below all the alteration in the lithocap. And this is probably one of them. So if you find yourself in a high sulfidation epithermal system, try not to get fixated on those huge outcrops of alunite and massive silica on top of the ridge tops. They look spectacular, but the good stuff is often in the flats, in those low, rubbly, knobbly outcrops.